Hello and welcome to the multiplexer series on the basics of multiplexers and signal switches. This video will provide an introduction to 1.8 volt logic support found in analog switches and multiplexers. The goal of this video is to learn the features of 1.8 volt logic and how you can simplify design with 1.8 volt logic muxes and switches. In this video we will have a short discussion on 1.8 volt logic support present in some TI multiplexers and switches. We will begin with an overview of 1.8 volt logic support, why it is useful and how it is achieved. We will finish with learning about 1.2 volt logic support. The goal of this video is to understand 1.8 volt and 1.2 volt logic support and why they are used. 1.8 volt logic support allows for a multiplexer and an MCU or processor to communicate at the same 1.8 volt logic level. To facilitate this communication, the system must ensure that the voltage output high level VOH is higher than the voltage input high threshold VIH of the device that it is controlling. In addition, the output low VOL of the logic output must be lower than the input low VIL of the logic input it is controlling. This logic standard can be seen on the diagram to your left. As seen on the diagram in the middle, a multiplexer in red without 1.8 volt logic support would require a translator to communicate between the MCU and the multiplexer due to a logic level incompatibility as the 3.3 volt logic multiplexer would need to communicate with an 1.8 volt logic MCU. However, as seen on the diagram to your right, having an integrated 1.8 volt logic multiplexer ensures smooth communication between the processor and the multiplexer without the need for an additional component as the two devices are able to communicate at the 1.8 volt logic level. Using devices that are logic compatible with the control logic of the system can lead to a smaller board size and reduce system costs due to a reduced bomb count. Also, the use of less components in the design of the system ensures that the opportunities for power sequencing issues are minimal. Next, we will dwell into the technical overview of how 1.8 volt logic support is achieved. 1.8 volt logic support allows for a multiplexer to communicate with an MCU or processor through compatible 1.8 volt logic levels. Even if the multiplexer is compatible with an MCU without 1.8 volt logic support, a common problem that arises is that of excess current consumption. When the input to a typical CMOS logic buffer is not at the supply rail, a shoot through current can be observed from the device supply to ground. This happens when the voltage flows between the VIL max and VIH min values, causing the undetermined logic levels, which leads to excess shoot through current from the supply to ground, as seen on the graph to the left. Additionally, the diagram on the right shows how VIH and VIL levels are shown in a multiplexer's data sheet. To help correct for excess current consumptions, there are three methods that could be used. One, a fixed logic threshold method. Second, a 1.8 volt logic compatible method. Or third, a logic supply pins method. The next slide will discuss all three methods in detail. 1.8 volt logic can be achieved through three methods. First, a fixed logic threshold method. Second, 1.8 volt logic compatible input method. And third, logic supply pins method. These methods are built using different logic structures and have their own positives and drawbacks. The fixed logic threshold method necessitates that the fixed logic levels or VIH and VIL are held constant as seen on the table below from a data sheet. And this ensures that there's little or no little to no change in the supply current levels as seen in the figure. As a trade-off, the static current consumption will be higher. In the 1.8 volt compatible logic input method, 1.8 volt th logic thresholds can be achieved while minimizing the shoot observed in a standard CMOS buffer as seen on the previous slide with excess current consumption. When the input voltage is at the supply rails, the ICC is minimal. With this approach, the external translator is no longer needed and the low ICC is maintained. Lastly, the logic supply pin method requires a VIO pin as seen on the far right image and requires for it to be set to the desired voltage of the logic input. Since the logic buffer is provided by the rail that matches the input voltage, there is no shoot through current ICC from the VCC pin as seen on the graph. There is a small shoot through current IO from the logic supply pin, but it is minimal. Next, we will learn about the basics of 1.2 volt logic support. Similar to 1.8 volt logic, some TI multiplexers also support 1.2 volt logic. A common application for 1.2 volt logic support is seen when communicating with next generation microcontrollers. Overall, as systems continue to move towards lower voltage nodes, the trend towards power savings continues. Input and output thresholds as seen in the diagram show the effect of lower logic levels such as 1.2 volt logic on the VIH and VIL values. Similar to 1.8 volt logic, 1.2 volt logic ensures that 
the microcontrollers that can communicate with multiplexers and can do so with a minimal footprint and a reduced bomb count similar to those with 1.8 volt logic support. As always, to ensure that the driver's output signal will effectively control the switch, you must be certain that the VOH levels are above the VIH threshold and the VOL levels are below the VIL threshold. For more information on VIH and VIL input thresholds, please see the Output Input Logic Level TI Precision Lab video. To conclude, 1.2 volt logic support in TI multiplexers ensures that the multiplexers that are integrated into the systems today are able to be supported for years to come as the industry moves towards lower voltage nodes and lower power consumption. In this video, you learned more about 1.8 volt logic and 1.2 volt logic support. Thank you for watching the TI Precision Labs video, 1.8 volt logic support. To find more about switches and multiplexers and technical resources or to search products, visit ti.com forward slash switches.